this is Wendy with Next Level Board Games, and today we're going to unbox Calico, a game by Kevin Russ and illustrated by Beth Sobel and published by Flat Out Games and AEG Games. So this game is sort of a pattern matching game. You're going to basically score points by making the best patterns. So And then when you string things together, you get extra points and you can build more things. So let's see what's inside. Ooh, it's kind of ding and dented. The first thing I noticed about this game when I picked it up was that it's fairly heavy. So I think there are going to be um, a lot of pieces inside. So let's find out what all's in here. So first we have the instruction booklet, which matches the lid like perfectly. And it's not, I don't think it's too many pages. I don't think this is going to be that hard of a game. I think it's more about um, making the best patterns you can possibly make. Is what, I, is what I understand of this game. I have not played it yet, so I am excited to play it though. So first thing we have, a bunch of tokies. These are considered buttons. So in the game, let me dig down a little bit more. So you're going to be using things like this to basically build what's called a quilt, and you can match like colors and patterns um, for different special bonuses. And when you get certain special bonuses, then like you can get a cat on there if you get the right, um, the right mix of tiles and the right orientation along with the right patterns and then that gets you extra points if you have like three in the row of the same color you can add a button to it again additional points so it's it's really about managing what um, tiles you have and how you place them on your board so if you look at these these are really brightly colored the patterns are cute they kind of match right so these are different colors but same patterns so you kind of have the same opportunity to do um, each type of thing each type of building with each color because they have the same tiles just different colors. And each person's gonna have a little bit different of goals to match. So there's like a light blue, a pink, a purple, yellow, green, dark blue. Oh, and then there's some black and whites. So that's for, um, that's for when you're doing your cats. So you match either patterns or colors and different things to get extra bonuses. So these are some of the different special little um, challenges you can get like It'll tell you like here, you would need like three of the same, two of the same, and then one of the same. And I think those can be both patterns and or color, if I'm not mistaken. So different little things like that. So each person's gonna get special little um, like side goals, almost like little side quests. And then, so for each one of these, you can see based on the pattern, let me just pop this out. Based on the shape, it's what it's telling you, like this one is four and two. So that means that four of these are going to have to be one thing and they don't necessarily have to be like four in a row. But they, as long as the four and the two that are surround this are four are the same and two are the same, that's how you score extra bonus points. So um, it's basically not necessarily super complicated, but it's going to be about drawing the right things at the right time and having room on your player board to place them where you need them to be to gain the, to actually capitalize on all the bonuses. So that can be kind of fun. I think it's going to be slightly challenging without being really hard to learn or really hard to um, explain to new players and stuff. So this is the button bonus uh, little wheel to kind of tells you that all these different buttons are that we that I showed you earlier, which are these over here. Each one's worth three. So it takes three of the same color to be able to um, to be able to place a button in a, a certain space and gain those extra points. So here's some of the cats that you get. And then the cats, um, when you first get them, they will get assigned different little of the black and white tokies over here. So that those are the special patterns that they like. And then you can, um, here we go. Here's the pattern you would need for those, those specific cats. So each one is slightly different. I think some of these, they tell you um, for a beginner game, play with these specific cats. Like obviously these are gonna be much easier to match than these, right? To meet, the, to meet the special pattern goals. So I think you start out with some of these easier to do ones. And I'm, I'm gonna guess these are maybe the VP you get for that. I'm not exactly sure, but it kind of makes sense because the numbers go up with the complexity, right? So there's that. A lot of tokens. If you see how, this is how many boards of tokens I pulled out. So. That's why this box was heavy. That's cute. So um, I did notice in the instructions, a lot of the tiles, the colored tiles here, get these all the backs are gonna be the same. So you don't know exactly what you're drawing. And again, this is where I was talking about getting the right tiles at the right time. Um, you can either put these in the stack and have people pick, uh, pick them up off the table. Like if you have somebody with dexterity issues, that might make more sense. 
or you can um, put them in this bag and then people randomly draw the tokens out. So either way, you cannot see the token. The bag's really cute, but if you do have somebody again with like dexterity issues or um, any issues with uh, feeling in their hand where it makes it harder for them to pull things out of here like Quacks of Quellenberg and any games that do that, then it might make more sense to just stack them on your table. Here's some extra bags. I'm gonna guess that's to separate our stuff because there isn't a specific insert. So it's nice that they included bags, but that means there isn't an insert. Then uh, this is clearly going to be a score, a little score tracker, score pad. Cute. So again, not a ton of different things that you're scoring on. Only so many. So again, not overly complex just for the sake of being complex. And yet at the same time, it's probably going to be um, harder than it looks because it's all about managing and getting the right stuff picked at the right time, which obviously you can't control what you're going to randomly draw out of the bag. So then it's just a matter of doing the best you can with it. I don't know if you notice the outside of the box, really cutely designed, totally matches the theme. And then these are your player boards and each one has a little bit different color stitching on the outside. So purple, yellow, blue, green. And then the rest of them are mostly the same. And so this is also tells you your color right here. And those special tokens that I talked about earlier, where you try to get specific things around them, these are going to go in those places. So I'm going to guess they're probably color based. So of course I pick blue. I can pop that back in <laughs> and get a green one so they could go like this and then that and then I would need to build around this now here's the tricky part as soon as I have let me find an actual, another green one just because I'm a detail person as soon as I have these all in here and there's more that are green so these are gonna be very randomized look how much harder this is because these two are sharing the same tiles and this one's sharing the same tiles as this one, right? So these are not, those are gonna be independent. But if you're if you're trying to meet like this, where I have two of one thing, two of another, one of another, one of another, and then this one over here is saying three of something, two of something, one of something, you have to be really paying attention when you place these so that you don't accidentally put something down that yes, maybe meets this, but now breaks this and makes this an impossible to get. So that's why I say it's gonna be a, um, really a matter of strategy and really planning ahead because you can't necessarily plan on what you pull out um, randomly of the tokens at the time to build your quilt. So um, I think it's gonna be super fun. I really like that these are dual cut. So like you can see, they're very thick. They got the two layers and this way it's gonna keep your, when you place your tiles, it's gonna keep them on the board. This is not how these would go, but just so you can see that it makes a flat surface, but they stay, instead of like, if you accidentally touched it, they're not gonna go flying off the board because it's a double cut, right? So that's really cool. So not a whole lot of, um, like there's no specific big game board for this. There's just player boards and then specific player tokens based on the color you are. And then a whole bunch of tokens for um, building your quilts. Some really cool cat upgrades button upgrades. Where'd those go? Here, I think I'm on the back maybe. No, those must be cats, more cats. So I see value numbers in the back. So I have a feeling, I suspect these are all VPs. But there's buttons in here somewhere. Oh, wait, ta-da, <laughs> they were hiding. So then there's also these really colorful buttons, lots of really cool stuff in here. So um, I really think this is gonna be a very fun game. I like all the different colors. They're easy to see, um, to tell the differences. Sometimes you get colors that are a little bit more muted and anybody with um, like a color blindness sometimes will have trouble, but these look really easy to see and um, I think it'll be a fun game to play. So that's pretty much everything that's in Calico. Uh, some really cool player boards, really cute bag, and a whole lot of punch out tokens. Um, but I think that they're nice quality. They are nice and thick, so I'm excited to play. I think they're gonna last a long time. And I love the dual cut boards. That one has tokens, but love these dual cut boards. They're gonna really hold your pieces in place while you play. I'm excited to learn how to play this game. Thanks for watching Next Little Board Games.